Greetings everyone, the Aetherdite can be farmed in Warframe via the completion of the Derelict Points of Interest during Railjack missions at Venus Proxima. The Derelict Point of Interest will appear as a white HUD indicator during your Venus Proxima missions only if you have a rank 5 or higher pilot intrinsic rank. When inside the Derelict, it holds a single objective, that being a hackable terminal, the location of which will be shown via an on-screen HUD indicator. This terminal simply needs to be hacked in order for the player to have a chance to receive the Athodai components at the mission's completion. The Athodai has three components, the receiver, barrel, and blueprint. Each of these parts have a 6.45% chance to drop as a mission reward once the terminal has been hacked. When said terminal has been hacked, the player is free to return to the Railjack via the Omni tool or the Extraction Indicator to continue with the main objective of the mission and receive their reward upon completion, at which point the Athodai component, if dropped, will appear as a bonus reward. To elaborate and repeat, the derelict vaults are extremely simple points of interest that require the player to enter through a corpus freighter, run all the way to the displayed waypoint, hack a single terminal, and then return to the railjack either via the waypoint or using the Omni tool. If anything, your farm for the Athodai will be repetitive and dull due to the low drop chance from the derelict cash mission reward, which ultimately requires you to travel to the derelict, enter, travel to the terminal, complete the hack, return to your railjack, travel to the main mission objective, complete said objective, and then return to the railjack to complete the mission, rinse and repeat. It is due to this that I do suggest you run the exterminate mission of Bifrost Echo to alleviate the time investment per mission, but do keep in mind that RNG is RNG, and it may take you three runs to acquire all the components for the Athodai, or a lot more. In my experience, it did take upwards of 10 hours of farming to finally acquire the blueprint, so take that as you will. Lastly, before moving to the stats, it should be noted that the Athodai has a mastery rank restriction of 10, and when you have all the components, you can head to the foundry and craft the weapon for 20,000 credits, 5 Oricon cells, and from there, the weapon will take 12 hours to build. As for those stats, the Athodai is a secondary hand cannon with two firing modes, one Madurai Polarity and a Naramon Exilus Polarity. The Athodai's primary fire is that of a semi-automatic burst. It has an accuracy of 50, critical chance of 32, critical damage multiplier of 2, fire rate of 5, magazine size of 24. It's an alarming weapon, it takes 2 seconds to reload, it has an 8% status chance, and for damage, it deals 22 puncture, 48 heat, which is a total of 7 any damage. As for the Athodai's secondary fire, it is a charged beam. It has an accuracy of 118% critical chance, 2 times critical damage multiplier, a fire rate of 12, a magazine size of 24. It's an alarming weapon, a punch through of 2 meters, a status chance of 24% while dealing 88 heat damage. Lastly, the Athodai does have the special ability to maximize your fire rate and ammo efficiency, aka infinite ammo. This will proc upon headshot kill for a short duration, however, while in this state, the ability to use the Athodai's alternate fire will be disabled. Now that does conclude this where to farm video for the Athodai hand cannon. If you need assistance with farming other weapons and items in Warframe, you can check out my where to farm playlist by the cards on screen or check out the other content available on the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.